Leslie Chong this morning from Imugene. Leslie, good morning. Hi, Andrew. Good to speak, Leslie. Big, uh, big update from you this morning here. The first combination patient uh, has been dosed here. This is for PD1 Vax and Tencentric. Uh, tell us a bit more about the study. Oh, that's right. So PD-1 Vax is in non-small cell lung cancer. During the dose escalation bit, we were looking at relapse populations. So those lung cancer patients who had failed off of previous lines of therapy have come on to the study. And this is, again, dose finding, dose escalation. And even then, we saw patients with complete response. So we still have a patient two and almost two and a half years later uh, still with complete response, no tumor growth, no residual tumor. He is completely, you know, dare I say, cure of his lung cancer on the monotherapy alone. And now today we have announced that in the combination with our PD-1 Vax and Tencentric or other name known as a tezoluzumab, uh, just to just to recall, um, this is a supply agreement with Genentech Roche. So they are supplying this wonderful drug that I was very privileged to have worked on in the past. So this is in combination and we have two arms. So we have treatment naive, those patients that have never received treatment before. And then they come on this combination you know, inhibiting PD-1 as well as PD-L1, just completely locking down any, you know, inhibiting tumor growth. So I'm quite excited about the aspects of this combination. And also another arm looking at pretreated or relapsed populations. So again, patients with lung cancer who have progressed off of a previous line of therapy in this combination. So what milestones should we be looking out for as far as this combination study? Gosh, um, we're already, you know, uh, accepted for to present at the World Lung Cancer Conference. Um, that happens. It's truly international. It happens all over the world. And this year it's in Singapore. Last year it was in Barcelona. So we'll be at Singapore in, in September. Um, other things, you know, we had just announced our first in class on Carolytics FDA IND. And the mass study, I mean, I just couldn't be happier with the progression of the of that study. So we'll be announcing dose escalation very soon. Um, what else? I mean, just everything is just happening in the company. Human Fong, he, he's speaking at an upcoming biotech summit. Yes. So he so he is the keynote speaker at the biotech summit happening in Hobart. A little bit before then, we'll do some selective non-dual roadshow presentations in Sydney and Melbourne. There'll be lunches and receptions, so we'll be announcing those venues and dates very soon. Um, I will be likely presenting at several different investment conferences coming up So I'm in Australia, so there'll be a lot of opportunity to meet with several of our shareholders, new and old. Certainly plenty happening, Leslie, and no getting away from the fact the market's still a bit tough at the moment, but the fundamentals at Imugene still strong here. Uh, lots to look forward to, you reckon? Stronger than ever. I mean, the fundamentals of the company is incredibly strong, stronger than it was when it was back in, you know, over the billions. So um, I'm extremely happy with the progress and we keep our head down and we keep going to get that data for the patients. Good to see you, Leslie. Thanks very much. Thank you.